Creating habits is a buildup of seemingly small decisions that lead to big results. So you won't gain five pounds just by eating that burger, which you upsize with the extra fries and sugary drink. By the same token, you won't lose weight just by working out once. And remember, your fitness journey is a process, it's not a destination. And the process is the character building part where you get stronger, you get fitter, and you get wiser too. Especially when you learn from the mistakes of the bad habits you've done. So don't just rely on motivation because that changes day to day based on the stress levels that you have, based on the day that you had yesterday, based on the sleep you got, you know, all these different factors. What you want to rely on is building good habits because habits are automatic. You know, you brush your teeth first thing in the morning, that's a habit. You exercise first thing in the morning, that's a good habit. At the same time, you could have, you know, that cake after your dinner, that's a habit. So you want to make sure that you make good habits and you also break bad habits and not just rely on motivation. Now habits are triggered by cues or reminders that happen day to day. For example, you shower, you tie your shoes after putting your shoes on, you brush your teeth after every meal. Those are things that you do without fail. Another cue is things that you do on a daily basis, like you drive to work, you, know, you walk to work, you watch TV after dinner, you exercise before or after work. So what you want to do is have a cue that will build a good habit. For example, as soon as I wake up and have my breakfast, I'm going to go to the gym. Or as soon as I'm done with work, I'm going to head to the gym. Or as soon as I'm done with my errands, I'm going to do groceries and meal prep the right way. So you always want to have a daily calendar that will have plans for that. You always want to make time for that. You always block an hour for working out. You always want to block an hour for groceries and meal prepping. Because when you put it in your calendar, it's more concrete. It's more tangible. It's real. As opposed to when I have time. No, you put that in after a certain task. Just like an appointment that you can't miss.